doing a short after work trip it's Wednesday September the 23rd we're gonna try for crappie with minnows medium-sized minnows three dozen it is currently 67 degrees six mile an hour southwest winds no humidity and it's been complete overcast all day that's the first time I've seen the Sun pop up is right now right as I started saying that but besides that it's been overcast the whole day I've been at work I mean complete dark so it should be a good day they should be biting again at least somewhat these are all white crappie in here we've caught them up to nine inches but they're in real high numbers but we're hoping that the only reason we were catching those small ones is because uh, of it when we fished it before it was 90 degrees all the time so we're hoping that we get on some bigger ones today or even a nice bass on accident or something so stay tuned should be a good little two hour trip mud bottom so it looks dingy anyway but it's clear but it ain't green We want to go to the very end of the, oh my god i just seen some bass jumping down there at the very end oh my god right where them crappie are always at too they were jumping right there we want to go to the very end of the lily pads right out in the middle where we can cast to either side but you don't want to get right on top of them Oh my God, whoa, that was a big gar, I think. There went a buffalo, jeez. I could tell it wasn't real big. There he is, got him. All right guys, we are on him. <coughs> Definitely not the size we're after though. Little white crappie, about six inches. There's a lot of small ones in here, but you will get nines and tens. That's what we're hoping. I get to use my minnow again. That's cool. I think you want to be further out. We're not on the drop yet. We're right where it drops down. You want to be out to the left of us. Out in there. Right where it is through it. And you're risking getting in the anchor rope right there. Get away from that. You're going to get hung on the anchor. And there he is. Ah, missed it. There he is. Got it. Over there. Over in there. He's a little better. He's seven. Still got my minnow. I'm going to use it then. You let it set. If you don't get a bite in 15, 20 seconds, you just scoot it four inches. Just real slow where that minnow barely moves and it attracts them. There he is. Got him. Bigger. See? They, that's, they got bigger. Started out six, seven, and I got an eight. Yeah, he's seven and a half. He's almost eight. A little better, guys. That ain't bad. Thick. It's thick. I'm not, I'm not, that's, I'm happy with these. It's not bad at all. I'll take these all day. All right, guys, hey. Starting to look a little promising. Can't ask for better weather, that's for sure. All right. And I need another minnow. Hey, I caught three fish on the same minnow, though. <laughs> that ain't bad. Yep. All right, guys, we're having a good day now. We already caught four fish in the first ten minutes. The technique I'm using, if I don't get a bite in 30 seconds, I see.
Mine just had a nip. There he is. You got one too. Yep. Yeah. All right, double doubles, guys, doubles. Hey. Oh, I flicked my minnow off. Darn. I'm gonna throw the jig a few times. Three fish on one minnow, now we're getting one each minnow. We've got double whites. Let's see if I can get one on the jig for a minute. Starting to wonder if I'm still too deep. No, just had a bite right when I said that. Just took a long time. Just took a while longer that time. Oh, he engorged it. Ooh, I don't know if I can get it. I'm gonna have to have pliers. Yeah, maybe not. I think I can get it. Destroyed my minnow though. Got the hook. Almost. Got the hook. All right, guys. Another white crappie. About seven. Still no keepers or giants. <laughs> Alright, I got my first one on the Orange Dream Sickle Bobby Garland. Just switching back and forth between minnows and jigs. I knew I'd get one eventually. And I think my mistake has been I was letting it go too far down. They're only about three foot under the top. And that's it. I was letting it fall six feet before. Missed it. No, you got it. God, they're all small today. Every one. Goodness. I guess we pretty much know now there is no big ones in here then. After three times, we gave it a lot of chances. It's good for red ear, I guess, and that's about it. Buffalo, if you could figure them out, and bass, if you could figure them out. It's got to be what it was. Only explanation. Bigger? Yeah, no. Goodness. Looks like just a numbers game today, guys. Our biggest so far is seven inches. All the rest are about six. Six or seven. They may be seven. I may have caught one eight. It's something like that. One keeper. Barely keeper. Hey! They're not all bad. He's nice. There we go, guys. There is some. Just because it's overpopulated doesn't mean there isn't some keepers in here. Oh, yeah, he's 10. At least 9. I'd say he's 10. Maybe even 11. He's nice, guys, finally. Maybe I should leave it deep then. Get less bites, but they might be the bigger ones down below the small fish. I've seen, I've, I've had that happen. How far down am I? I'd say about 28 inches, a little over two feet. Not bad, guys. Finally a keeper. That ain't a bad crappie at all. I knew as soon as I set the hook, he felt different. Almost thought I had a bass for a second. Heck yeah, that ain't bad. There he went. Yep. 
I know the trick now. You got to barely scoot the minnow. You got to constantly move it, just barely glide it along. All right, that's how I got him anyway. Little guy, another six incher. Now we got one nice crappie today, guys. And that's it. All right, I'm gonna change my battery one more time and then I need a minnow here in a minute. Let me change my battery first. There we go. Oh yeah. White crappie again? There's not a single black in here. Makes you wonder why not. Alright guys, another white crappie. Six inches. Got the one nice fish and that was it. I need another minnow. I felt him. Ready? Mm hmm. Oh boy. Call a record book. <laughs> Gosh. What a giant. Man, this thing's got to be almost five inches, guys. I mean, what a behemoth. We're going. Well, guys, that wasn't a very good day. Caught one keeper. Probably caught about 15 crappie, but only one worth mentioning. So all in all, it wasn't worth coming. But we're just trying to figure this place out still to see what potential it has. So that's mainly why we came, and it's close to the house. And didn't have much time. I, we would have done way better over at the creek. You know it. Maybe we can go there Friday or something at the creek. Who knows. I'd like to try below the bridge though. Not above it. And stand on that tree. Well guys. Until next time. You know what to do. Stay tuned for more.